a bit more work to do. If someone's ignorant and unreachable, please don't waste your time with them. If they just don't want to have the conversation, they just want to argue, just <coughs> say, look, um, yeah. Send them to me. <laughs> the slaughterhouse get a bolt gun in their head and we chop them up into pieces. So cruelty is a part of it, but we're more, more about eliminating animal use when we don't need to. Yeah, you don't think it's necessary, but we've got alternatives. Free range. I was at free range. This is there's free range industries coming up on this video. Then that means nothing for animals. Free range is something they tell you. They come off of a local farm up road from where I yeah. live. They go. No, they come out of a local slaughterhouse because that's where they send them. And a lot of them die on the way to the slaughterhouse. So no matter how nice the farmer treats them, the slaughterhouse workers put them in an electrical bath, which electrocutes them. They slit their throat. But that's why we don't. But that's why that's why we don't eat them because if we don't want to know about it, it's too hard to know about. I wouldn't want that in my body. Yeah. Oh. He, was, he was really defensive, wasn't he? Sure. Haven't seen this before? Have you seen this before? Peter videos? It's not Peter, this is the UK. Uh, it's just uh, some UK activists got this out of the um, farms here and the slaughterhouses here. Pretty, not pretty surprising. Pretty standard. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Canada's not much better. <laughs> Well, it's worse for it's worse. Um, beef and stuff, but um, are you, why are you guys like... Just, uh, this is anonymous for the voiceless, it's a it's activist group. <laughs> you yeah. don't the masks, right? The voiceless are the animals, they technically do have a voice, but they can't, you know, express themselves in our language, so they, we speak out for them and we're just asking people to choose options that don't involve using animals. So are you vegan? Yeah, we're vegan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way you can avoid animal abuse. I... Would you hit me up? Huh? Well, no, no, no. Hit me with it. No, no, hit me with it. I... No, no, we're not going to have an argument. Discussion is what we ask for. Like, I suppose. Um... Yeah. Animals are products at the end of the day. They don't care about their welfare. Oh, but Jesus. That's a bad one. We're not actually here for their treatment. We're showing you how they're treated, but it's more about their use. You understand? Like, we can't use animals. It's, 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 all use is abuse. Because we're, we're technically using them for our gain, our personal pleasure. And, well, and, absolutely, but yeah. on the same note, like, cows wouldn't even exist if humans hadn't, Bred you know, domesticated. Of like, the only reason cows okay. exist are, okay. have been so bred if, for that purpose. Is that justify putting them in a slaughterhouse? No, but I'm at the same time, like... They're going to have look, some kind of love. You don't eat animals. Certain kinds of but animal, you, I guess you guys would say that that's still Dairy and whatever. eggs, we established, is the meat industry. And and that's, yeah, and that's what your belief is. It's not a belief, that's the, that's the industry. The dairy industry, the cows all get killed and sent to the meat industry. The babies get killed, sent to the well, veal industry. I'm saving the pigs then, I suppose. I'm yeah. saving the pigs. That's but what about an award for? Yeah, well, I mean, we're just showing how easy it is to be vegan. That there's no reason to eat animal products. There's alternatives. We've got almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, oat milk. Milk is fine, but cheese is. We've got fine. vegan cheese, soy cheese, cashew cheese, mm -hmm. almond soy cheese. cheese. It's, it's really horrible. So uh, uh, this you haven't. Fa how many did you try? Did you? Life, did, yes, but well, it's saving a, a mother of a life of slavery and a baby. Absolutely. If, if it happened on a mass scale, but I think. Uh, Along with the animal cruelty portion of this, you guys should as well address the environmental we do. effects. Can I have one of these? Animals, environment and health. But it's not about animal cruelty, it's about animal use. They're slaves at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. We use them for our pleasure and we don't need to, it's unnecessary. Yeah. The environment, 91% uh, of animal, Amazon deforestation is to grow soybeans to feed, feed to cattle. Mm. Okay. This and palm oil. No, 91% is, am is agri animal agriculture. No, I might do some more um, research. Dairy and. Check out the research. dairy industry, especially, and the eggs and, and fish. I think even, I mean, of course, being completely vegan would be best, but I think as a teacher, especially, even just the gradual phasing out of meat, telling kids, try and eat meat instead of every day, eat it once a week with your family. Because I just think so many people, it's unrealistic because yeah, that's it's, what they do. By I'm buying not just these products. Them to go vegan. I think it should be ha like grandfathered in. You know what I mean? Yeah, but any other injustice would be saying not to contribute to it. Well, it's like gay rights, though, isn't it? It's like, like it's been grandfathered in slowly. But, but yeah, but you would never tell someone to stop abusing gays gradually. You'd say stop abusing them. I wouldn't, them. but as a, 
as an you know, international like I would never world, someone to, that's what happened. I'd never sell, tell someone to not be racist one day a week. So no, any, any of other form not. of injustice, like this is just animals that are the victims here. Do you know, Absolutely. it's injustice on a massive scale and we're saying don't contribute to it. Because if I were to tell you just contribute to it three days a week, just kill animals three what days a week, that? what type of advocate for them would I be? That would. But surely any gain is a good gain. Yeah, but it, I would never tell someone to do that, to do it three times a week. Or what sort of saying if you can't like do if it, you were in a cage, at least do this. If you were in a cage and I said, okay, only beat her three times a week. What if I was a, an abolitionist and I said, set her free, don't beat her at all. You know, and and then because that. of that, he would be like, oh, maybe I'm it, maybe that's I'll. not an option. I'm just, any gain is a good gain. Is what yeah. all I'm saying. But to advocate for. I can't tell 25 children and their families like don't eat meat. No, but you can you can do something in your life. Maybe. Absolutely. So you could you could but make I think the change. Modeling not eating meat, whether dairy. Vegan. That's is, just the next step for me, but that takes time. Dairy, to, eggs, and fish. Yeah. Oh my God. Fish, fish, fish feel easier, pain. I think, but I think cheese would be the worst. Do you know why cheese is so addictive? Good. It contains something called casomorphine. Casomorphine helps the cow go back to the mother, return to the mother. It's addictive. Okay, it, make, it sedates the calf after she uh, feeds on her mother. Mm. And in cheese, the water's been removed, so the casomorphine is concentrated. So cheese is physically addictive. I didn't know that. Yeah. Kind of gross. So check it up. Casomorphine. That's why you're addicted to cheese. That's why most vegetarians won't go vegan because of cheese. And cheese is just a, basically a congealed glob of fat well, and my pus. Dad and too, there. You know this pus in, as well, I guess. You know the pus that's in cheese, yeah? Well, some cheese has the cow's <laughs> stomach thing, but I don't know. Oh, no, like, that's, uh, I don't know the pus thing. Like, that sounds pu gross. Yeah, well, the, because they're getting sucked on these machines their whole life. Yeah. They get infections called mastitis, mm -hmm. and they, the machines don't know what to suck out. Sucking out the milk, sucking out the pus, sucking out the blood. Okay. And what they do is they pasteurize the milk, so they cook the pus. Mm -hmm. The pus is actually called somatic cells. Okay. And there's a limit to somatic cells you can have in your milk. In Australia, it's 400,000 per per, per cc, 400,000 units per cc, so that's a lot of pus. And in cheese, it's just concentrated pus, fat, and yeah, hormones. And it's not bad for you, supposedly? They haven't and cheese isn't bad for you? Shut that down. No, no, cheese is bad for you, but the pus, I'm just surprised that's allowed. Oh, it's sanitary pus. Is there such There's thing? fecal matter in there too, mm. because obviously... Well, a little bit of poo is good for anyone, I guess. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> but mm. it's disgusting when you break it down because... It is it, pretty it, gross, yeah. yeah. And it's unhealthy. Sick. Very unhealthy. Saturated fat, cholesterol. Cheese is the worst for you, honestly. I'm <laughs> but, you know, plant-based diets are by default healthier. You know, you're eating all the plant. There's plants. Put about and it's just more difficult to get in your protein and everything. It's, it's See that guy a, over it's there? A life adjustment. That's all I'm saying. Hench herbivore, vegan bodybuilder. Uh, do you reckon he has trouble getting his protein in? He eats nothing but whole it plant look foods. Like it, does it? <laughs> It's a good do you, know, do you know how much how much protein you need? No idea. Yeah. I, I think it's about 50. I, think I don't get enough. It's about 50 I, like, grams per day. I force myself to eat fish twice a week because I feel like Shouldn't we don't get it as much. No. As I you can eat plant food. Any plant. All plant foods contain all nine essential amino acids. You need 50 grams of protein per day. If you eat enough calories, there's no way you can be protein deficient. It's just impossible if you're eating enough food. The only way is if you starve. Well, that's obviously not happening. What's your view on like shrimp, lobster, shellfish, shrimp are like clams, oysters? Mussels. They're like bottom feeders. They collect all the dirt from the oceans. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's okay to eat those fish. Namely, if you care about the bigger fish, they're trawling the well, oceans. So they're the they're line? destroying the ocean. And where do you draw the line? I think all fish have a level of sentience. They all have. They all feel pain and they want to they have some interest in living and it's not our job it's not our um, right to take that from them and clams and mussels and things clams it's and mussels where, you know plants respond to sunlight and music where do you draw the line between a plant's response to light and a shrimp's response plants don't, to don't have nerve endings they don't have uh, I think clams and mussels but if we're going to get the clam into the clam and mussel argument okay you still got the it's, we it's still got discussion. the we, we, yeah no 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 but we still got the dairy and eggs and the fish yes 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 okay so those I'm are gone I'm exploring all the options okay I think um, with oysters they still they've got the beginning of nerve gangli the oceans a filthy place full of mercury 
things like that. Mm -hmm. Most fish contains high level of mercury. Uh, I don't know how they fish these things out the bottom of the ground. They're trawling out the bottom of the ocean, destroying the oceans. These fishing trawlers are, you know, sucking everything out. We're sucking the life out of the planet. Mm -hmm. And there's no real necessary reason to eat oysters other than your own pleasure. Yeah. So we just, we just ask people to be altruistic and think, well, if it's not necessary, if I don't need it for my health, why am I eating it? Yeah. It's a living thing. Like, plants are living, but they're not sentient. They're intelligent. They respond to, to stimuli, just like Aren't an iPhone they? does. They're not sentient. No, sentience is self-awareness. Sentience is... You I can, you can feel it. Is, but how do we actually know In that? school, they teach... Well, because you know it doesn't have a brain. You know a plant doesn't have a brain. That's true. Yeah. But they responding don't have nerve. to like, they don't music have... and things surely speaks no. to some... Well, so does your phone. You talked into your phone lately. Say, hey, Siri. Your phone's an idiot. Mine's actually So your plant, uh, your phone is what? It's, re it's responding to is It's reacting to a stimuli in the environment. In the same way, your phone isn't sentient, but it's intelligent. S same with plants. Yeah. Plants can reach for sunlight, but you chop them in half, they don't feel it. Animals, you, you run at an animal with a knife, they try to avoid the pain. Yes, very You stick clearly. a hook through a fish's mouth, you suffocate them, they, they suffer. So I'm but a choice, you know, it's like being healthy. Going to the Have you looked for, for plant-based alternatives in your, in your supermarket yet? Well, I eat um, corn. Do you eat corn? Corn. You know, um, corn. Q -U -O -R -N. Yeah, well, yeah. there is a vegetarian corn, but they've bring, brought out a vegan line now. Uh, so they brought oh, out no, vegan. It's not ve well, it's got milk and whatever. Some of them have egg in it, but they're facing them out and they're bringing out vegan versions because more people want the vegan version now. Oh. That we're so creating tomorrow. Corn's not vegan, right? Well, not all corn. So you just read the front, it should say vegan. Okay. Just read the back. Should I mean, there's a whole tofu. I, there's stuff, but I just, it's relearning how to cook everything. It's whole foods, beans, recipes. rice, lentils, peas, pasta, yeah. broccoli, those things are healthy. Yeah. You know, they're healthy and they don't, they don't have all this fat and oh, saturated fat, animal protein. Cholesterol. Cortisol, mm -hmm. adrenaline. You know, when animals are suffering and they die, cortisol and adrenaline, we take that in. We, we, they're the same hormones that we produce when we suffer. We're eating that suffering. That's horrible to think about. Yeah. This is the worst song ever that you could put on as well. I'm sorry, this is your this is your moment. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so this is where the audio cut out and I really didn't realise how much of a powerful interaction this was with this school teacher. We touched on many subjects including the dairy industry and how horrific it is and we had some very powerful music playing in the background which really appealed to her emotion and I did not expect what happened next to happen. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna make any promises, but I will try. Vegan on the go. Can I have a look at this? Wow. She just went and bought this. Thank you. It was really nice. So give us a hug. Give us a hug. Come on. Oh, hugging. All right. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for giving it a chance. Give it a chance. Thank you. See ya.